Welcome to the third tutorial on CSS layouts. So we are continuing right along from the last video and we are going to add the header and navigation bar sections. And so let's start in the HTML of course. And so what do we need? We need a div tag of course to create those sections. So let's do that. And we're going to use IDs here instead of generic classes. So we're just going to use an ID to identify this because this is going to be a unique section. And we'll give it a relevant name. We'll call this header. And let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. And then our next section is going to be the navigation bar. And we're just going to call this nav one for navigation bar. And uh, we're not going to put any content in here right now. We're, we're just going to set up the layout. Uh, later on, we'll actually put some content in here. We'll actually do a logo and stuff like that. But for now, we just want to get the layout set up first. And actually, you know what? Let's call this nav bar a little bit more representative. So let's go ahead and we'll just copy and paste this here. And we'll rename this to header. And you will remember from the CSS series that when we use IDs, we need hashtags. So let's put a hashtag in front of our header. And we're going to go ahead and clear out these two rules. And we're going to set the margin to 10 pixels. So we'll have 10 pixels of margin space around our element. And we're going to change the background color. So we're going to override the color that we set in the body. And again, I already have the hex code available and it's going to be 5C755 easy. And let's give this a height of about 90 pixels. And that's pretty standard. Uh, you can up that if you want to 110 or if you want it a little bit bigger. But we'll just say 90 pixels for the height. And let's go ahead and save this. And we also have to save our index.html. And let's open this up. And there you can see we have our first section. And as I said, again, we'll put in our content here, which will probably be a logo or something. So that's good. We've got that now. And you can see we've got that 10 pixels going around here. And remember, the margin is always transparent. So we will see the background color, which, of course, we set to that army green uh, color, which we did in the last video. OK, so let's close that out. And now let's create our nav bar. So we'll just uh, do another copy and paste here. And again, we need the hashtag, so we'll call this navbar. And uh, we're going to keep the same background color, so we'll use that. And actually, we're going to keep the same margin, so that'll all be the same. But we're going to reduce the height a little bit to 35 pixels. So let's save this, and we'll see what we have. And now you can see we've got our nav bar under our header. And the reason this is going to be thinner is because we're going to put uh, buttons in here for our menu. So we'll put a home button here and some other buttons. And we'll do that later. So we'll fill that in later. But you can see we've got our layout going here and it's pretty good. Now, you'll notice that we did not put in widths. We're just going to put in a height property because we want this to be responsive. We want this to be a liquid website. That is, we want this to size accordingly to where the user has their browser set in terms of the size of their browser. So as they minimize it or maximize it, our elements will size accordingly. So no width for our header or our nav bar element. We are merely just going to define a height, and that works very nicely. And again, this fits into this liquid, responsive website design that we want to do. The other thing I want to point out is this 10 pixel margin now that we have uh, around our elements. And that is what you call a gutter. Uh, people will refer to that as a gutter. And that's where you use the margins to separate the elements. And it's kind of uh, pleasing to the eyes. So all of the future elements that we add will have this little gutter around it. And it's kind of nice to have so that these aren't crammed right up next to each other. Now, if you don't want that, you can remove the margins, but I don't really think that looks too good. I actually like to have this, these gutters, as they are called, all around the elements. So every other element we have will always have that 10 pixel margin space. Now, some people um, like the sort of rectangular look to have these edges pointed. Others want to put a radius. So if you like the pointed edges, you can keep that or you can add a little bit of radius. I'm just going to add a little radius to this to show you guys what it looks like and we'll keep that. But again, if you don't want that, you can just comment out the uh, code that I'm going to put in. So what we'll do is use the border property and we'll say border radius 
and we're gonna curve it about five pixels. That's standard. You can make that lower if you want. You could make that 2.5 pixels uh, if you wanted to. And let's just go ahead and copy and paste that into our nav bar because we want all of our elements to have this. So let's save this. And there you can see now we have this nice five pixel radius around the corners of our header and our navigation bar. So that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we are going to add a main content pane.